IT team, getting from the business consulting. So today we are going to see regarding ASAP methodology. Now typically whenever we are starting any project, any implementation project, we used to get various typical kind of questions that how and where do we start? How do we assure the success? How to build internal expertise? How does what in this project? What's the responsibility of this person? How much expenses it will take? From where we need to start? So there are different type of questions which used to come in mind whenever we are going to start an implementation project. So one of the method methodology to implement SAP projects is a SAP, which we can say that it's termed as accelerated SAP. Now accelerated SAP, its purpose is to help design SAP implementation in most efficient manner where we can effectively optimize time, people, quality and other resources. Now, SAP accelerated SAP methodology provide the roadmap for optimizing and continuous implementation of SAP system in business process. This solution uh, was developed to guarantee a successful cost effective and on time delivery of all project solution. When it comes to modern business, both team members and project members need to be knowledgeable in SAP methodology. It provides the whole team with a project management roadmap and requisites technology to deliver well acknowledged project strategies in global standard. Now, We'll talk about like SAP methodology roadmap. The accelerated SAP methodology roadmap constitutes a stepwise guide incorporating project experience right from the start of R3. The roadmap brings in a multiple number of tools, information and accelerator to assist team member with the implementation of R3. Each phase of the process and with a quality check that help monitor the deliverables and other factors of critical success. Now ASAP methodology as we have discussed it has clear roadmap. Now there are five phases project preparation, business blueprint, realization, final preparation, go live and support. So as you can see on my screen, this is a full accelerated implementation methodology roadmap. The first step is project preparation. The second step you can see the business blueprint. The th third stage you can see the realization. Fourth is final preparation and fifth is go live and support. Now we will see one by one each phase of this SAP methodology. Now the first phase is, phase is project preparation. Phase 1 initiates with a retrieval of information and resources. It is an important time to assemble the necessary component for the implementation. Some important milestones that need to be accomplished for phase 1 include like obtaining senior level management stakeholder support, identifying clear project objective, architect and efficient decision making process, building a qualified and capable project team. Like next slide you can see that what, what all things we need to do in project preparation. We need to do goal setting. Uh, like we are defining the project goals and objective, defining and implementing the strategies which says what will be the clear scope of implementations, 
what will be there in the scope what will not be there in the scope we are defining we are declaring our team like who will be the business analyst who will be the consultant who will be the from the project team who will be the project manager who will be from the developer side who will be from the bc side and then we used to provide the sign off like so sign off is to be provided by the client so if if i am working in xyz company like malin laboratories and ibm i gate or infosys tcs is going to implement sap in my company so i will be the client the malin will be the client and malin malin uh, people like hire management people is going to provide the sign off that okay this this the first project preparation which you have prepared the guidelines everything it's fine we are okay to proceed now the second phase is the business blueprint sap has defined a business blueprint phase to help extract pertinent information about the company that is necessary for implementation this blueprint are in the form of questionnaires that are designed to probe for information that uncover how your company does business as such they also serve the document regarding the implementation now what what from what questions used to come like for an example what information do you capture on a purchase order what information is required to complete a purchase order so as we proceed further with the business blueprint this is the step when we proceed with the business blueprint we are preparing a scope document which consists of the questionnaires related to the business processes then we are defining as is that is what is the current business scenario then we are defining the to be that what the client required then we are doing the gap analysis if by chance standard sap is not providing something then we need to analyze here and we need to propose that okay in this way we are going to implement it and then again with the client we are taking the sign off of business blueprint now the third step is realization with the completion of the business in phase 2 functional experts are now ready to begin configure sap the realization phase is broken into two part like your sap consulting team help you configure your baseline system called the baseline configuration and your implementation project team fine tunes that system to meet all your business and process requirement as part of the fine tuning configuration so the initial configuration completed during the baseline configuration is based on the information that you provide in your blueprint documentation and the remaining like approx 20% of your configuration that was not tackled during the baseline configuration is completed during the fine tuning configuration so fine tuning usually deals with the exceptions that are not covered in baseline configuration again we can see here we need to define the project plan plan outline for realization so the configuration and customization will be done by our functional consultant the web coding will be done by our abepers unit testing system testing will be done by software tester and this is like we are defining the baseline finding final configuration and after everything at last again we need to take sign off with the client now the fourth step is the final preparation so as phase 3 merges into phase 4 you should find yourself not only in the midst of sap tuning but also in the midst of rigorous functional and stress testing 
so step for concentrate on the fine tuning of your configuration before go live and more importantly the migration of data from your old system or system to sap so workload testing like including peak volume daily load other form of strip stress testing and integrations and functional testings are conducted to ensure the accuracy of your data and the stability of your sap system uh, because you should have begun testing back in phase 2 uh, you do not have to far go until go live now you can see here during final preparation we are doing unit testing integration testing user training and testing and cut our strategies like after everything we need to provide training to the client that okay in this way the system will proceed and also if they are using another system then we need or if they are not using we need to load all the data into the sap through different mass tools like lsmw bdcs now the final step the fifth stage is go live and support so the the go live milestone is itself is easy to achieve a smooth and uneventful go live is another matter altogether preparation is the key including attention to what if scenario related not only to individual business process deployed but also to the functioning of technology underpinning this business process and preparation for ongoing support including maintenance contract and documented process and procedure and essentials like we are providing the production support we are monitoring the system transaction we are optimizing the performance of the system and if any other issues there there are help desk to help the key user they can raise a support ticket there are different sla's under which the consultant or the consulting firm user need to resolve the tickets of client so this is regarding the go live and support and then hyper care start that okay for this many months we are going to support the client so like the asap methodology is structured around the key project work stream that are outlined in the picture below if you can see here for each work stream the methodology provide the number of deliverables that are to be produced in each phase of the project so you can see this this is a project management chart we can go through it now this is very important thing project success with asap methodology so you can see the statistics that how a project is getting success if they are implementing it with accelerated sap methodology so here you can see 60% of the projects finish in less than 9 month and 70 plus percent of the project finishes in less than 12 month so it's it's really a good methodology to implement the project related to sap now there are few other questions like before starting the sap implementation project you need to brainstorm certain thing you need to ask certain question that will the company require consultant for the implementation who and how many people must be involved in house should the company consider outsourcing the erp implementation how many people in house and from outside should from the project team etc so this was all regarding the accelerated sap methodology if you like our video please like subscribe and comment thank you so much